In this question, an ambulance is traveling at 130 kilometers per hour, um, sounding its siren with a frequency of 2400 hertz. A cyclist is traveling at 20.3 meters per second, and here's a frequency of 2300 hertz. In this question, we're going to say, all right, that's what's happening with the ambulance, but what if the cyclist sounded a horn with a frequency of 200 hertz? What would the ambulance driver hear? So this is a Doppler problem. So for this equation, let's just label our picture up here. So the cyclist becomes the source because the cyclist is emitting some sound. The speed of the source is 20.3 meters per second. And the frequency of the sound emitted by the source is 200 hertz. And then the ambulance becomes the observer because the ambulance driver is listening to the sound made by the cyclist. The ambulance driver is driving at a speed of 130 kilometers per hour. Convert that to meters per second, and we get 36.1 meters per second. And the question is, what does the ambulance driver hear? What is that frequency? We know we're talking about waves of sound in air. Sound in air travels with a speed of 343 meters per second, so let's write that down. And next, let's figure out what are the signs in our Doppler equation. The observer is going away from the source, so the observer is going to hear a lower frequency. So in our Doppler equation here, we need to have a minus sign. Then the source is going towards the observer. That would have a tendency to produce a higher frequency. To get a higher frequency right here, we need a smaller denominator, so this sign needs to be a minus. Okay, so now we have our Doppler equation. We have all of the information we know. We know what we're looking for, so let's go ahead and solve part A. So for part A, the frequency heard by the ambulance driver is the frequency of the cyclist, 1 minus U0 over V, divided by 1 minus US over V. Let's put in our numbers. The F is the frequency made by the cyclist, 200 hertz. Multiply that by 1 minus the speed of the observer, 36.1 meters per second, divided by the speed of sound, 343 meters per second. And that's divided by our denominator, 1 minus the speed of the source, 20.3 meters per second, divided by the speed of sound, 343 meters per second. Put all that through the calculator. You should get an answer for your frequency at 190 hertz. So if the cyclist sounds her horn, the ambulance driver will hear a lower frequency at 190 hertz. Okay, now the next part, the ambulance slows down to 50 kilometers per hour, so now he's going slower than the cyclist, and the cyclist passes the ambulance. Now what does everybody hear? What does the cyclist hear from the ambulance siren, and what does the ambulance driver hear from the cyclist's horn? So let's draw a picture of what's happening here. So for part B, now we have the ambulance in the back and the cyclist in the front. So let's first ask, what does the ambulance driver hear? So let's call the ambulance the observer and the cyclist will be the source. So the observer has a speed of the speed of the ambulance, so that's 50 kilometers per hour. Convert that to meters per second, and we get 13.9 meters per second. The frequency of the observed sound, that's what we're trying to figure out, what does the ambulance driver hear? Speed of the source is the speed of the cyclist, that's 20.3 meters per second. Frequency made by the source is the frequency of the cyclist's horn, 200 hertz. Let's write down our Doppler equation next. So F primed, frequency heard by the ambulance driver, is frequency times 1 plus or minus UO over V divided by 1 plus or minus US over V. Let's pick our signs. The observer goes towards the source, so we'd hear a higher frequency, that's a plus. The source goes away from the observer, that would result in a lower frequency, so we want a smaller number here, bigger denominator here, also a plus. Let's put our numbers in, 200 hertz times 1 plus, UO is the observer, 13.9.
divided by V, 343 meters per second, divided by 1 plus speed of the source, 20.3, divided by speed of sound in air, 343. Put all that through the calculator and we get a frequency of 197 hertz. That frequency is pretty close to the original frequency, but then they're going close to the same speed, so that answer kind of makes sense there. Okay, now next, we still have the same situation. We still have the ambulance right here. And we still have the cyclist right here. But now we're asking, what does the cyclist here? That makes the cyclist the observer. So the speed of the observer is 20.3 meters per second. Frequency heard by the observer is what we're trying to figure out. The ambulance is the source. The speed of the source is our 50 kilometers per hour, which we know is 13.9 meters per second. Frequency of the source is the frequency of the ambulance siren, which was given at 2400 hertz. Let's write down our Doppler equation. Frequency heard by the observer, the cyclist, is the frequency produced times 1 plus or minus u0 over v divided by 1 plus or minus us over v. Our observer is going away from the source. That will result in a lower frequency, so we need the minus sign. Our source goes towards the observer, that would result in a higher or a bigger frequency, so we need a smaller denominator, so we need the minus. We'll put in our numbers, the frequency is 2400 hertz, times 1 plus 20.3, because the cyclist is the observer, divided by 343, divided by 1, oh, that's minus, I wrote in a plus, it should be a minus divided by 1 minus the speed of the source, 13.9 meters per second, divided by 343. And then when we do that in the calculator, we get 2,353 hertz. So this is what the ambulance hears. And this is what the cyclist tears.